everyone, so today I am doing another video for you guys, so I thought I'd do a little bit something different. So today's video is going to be my top five favourite things at the minute, so there's going to be different sections, so makeup, clicks and TV series, um, different things like that. So I'll get straight into it, so first things I'll go through a couple of the brushes that I love. So I've got the Real Technique face brush, um, it's the Duo Fiber face brush. I absolutely love this, just to put your powder on, you know. Um, yeah, it's just one of the nicest, smoothest brushes ever. Um, the next one I love is the Real Technique, now I'd love to tell you what it's called, but it's just the Real Techniques uh, contour brush. I just think when it when I do my contour, it just gives it a nice sharp contour look. Um, so I've loved that. I've loved that for years. And then these two brushes now, you probably won't really be able to get these um, unless you go to Spain. But you can't really go to Spain at the minute, guys, because unless you live there, you know. Um, but yeah, these brushes... Um, I actually picked these brushes up from one of those Chinese shops in Spain where they have all the goodies, everything for such a cheap amount of price. Um, they're actually really good quality. So I use this one for my highlighter and then this one is a blending brush but sorry about, I'm not cleaning them but yeah I just find they're really smooth and they wash up really nicely. None of the... Um, Feathers, what are they called? What are they called? The brush ends, none of the brush ends um, come out when you wash them or anything like that. They stay in really good condition and smooth, but they're quite dense as well at the same time. So if any of you are on a trip to Spain in the next year or so, then take a trip into one of the Chinese shops and they are incredible. Uh, the next thing I have loved this for years, and it is a Kiko bronzer. I got the warm melanase, 200 warm melanase colour, and I've loved this for years. This doesn't go well onto lighter skin. Um, obviously, you need to get the shade to suit your skin tone, but I love this, and I have done for years. It's lasted me years, and I, I love it. That's really grim, I know, because I know makeup's meant to also go out of date. It's alright. It's alright. It's not mouldy. That I can see. The next thing I love is this palette. I picked this up quite a while ago. It's the Revolution um, palette, and it's just um, sort of your neutrally pinks tones. Um, but the ones in the middle, they're, they're like um, sparkling. Um, and I feel like these go on really nice. I feel like the middle section, if you wet your brush first, they go on really nice. The pigments, pigment's really strong. Strong? Is that a word? Like it's really defined. Um, as well, when you use it on a dry brush, I wouldn't say the pigment's that great, but if you use it on a wet brush, then it is better um, on the middle section of this palette. This is not the correct one, though, that I wanted to show you. I can't find it. It's probably somewhere in my house. Um, but it's a MAC lipstick and it's in the colour Whirl. Whirl is my go-to. I just think with my skin tone, it is one of my favourite lipsticks. Um, but this one here is Velvet Teddy that I've actually got in. And a, again, a Velvet Teddy, I love it. Sometimes I think it's too light for me, but no, I do love a good nude. The next one is the Iconic um, Illuminator. This is in the sort of baby pink sort of colour. I'd love to tell you what it's called, but again, it's rubbed off. But it's like the baby pink, so they, I think they do like a gold version as well. But it's the baby pink one, and I just think it goes really nice. I've got... It, this isn't the one that I've got on, but it's the same tone. This one's... Um, yeah. Next things I'll go into is my favourite perfumes. Now, I absolutely love a good perfume. I can tell you what you're probably wearing. Like, I'm that obsessed with perfume. I have been for years. Um, so I've just always had a stack of perfumes. So my favourite, I've got 
I can't tell you my favourite. I've probably got three in my top three, but my top five favourites is one I've not got to show you today because it's I've run out, I've had it so many times but I've run out of it. So it's Victor and Rolf and it's Bomb Bomb. So it's the pink bottle with a bow and it just smells incredible. Um, it's quite a fruity scent, so if you do like the fruity scents, then definitely you will love that. My second top is Black Opium as well. Absolutely love Black Opium. I go through this so quick. And look at the bottle on this one. It's a limited edition um, and it's really pretty but I love it. Um, another good favourite of mine is C. Giorgio Marni. Again, these are probably a lot of people's favourites. Perfumes, I seem to just go through them like no tomorrow. A new one actually, I've never tried this one before. It's Dolce uh, & Gabbana and it's called Intense. And this actually smells really nice. Um, I can't explain the scent. It's not fruity. It's more maybe like a peppery scent, but not pepper. I'm not good at describing scents, but it's lovely. Um, and then the next, so this would be the last one that I would show you, but because I've not got the Victor and Ralph, I'm going to show you one more because I love a good perfume. Um, and this one is the. Um, Judge Armani again because it's you. I absolutely love this perfume. This is a very sweet perfume, but it's a strong perfume. Like you can put it on and it will last all day. You'll get compliments on it all day long. And then number six is Marc Jacobs Decadence. This again smells really nice. I would say this again is a, these two. have a very similar type of scent. They, this one's probably a bit sweeter than the other one, but they've got that top, sort of peppery tone underneath. Next things I want to go on to is things to watch on the TV, my top five at the minute, or what I've previously watched that I've absolutely loved. So one of them, so one of them is Killing Eve. Absolutely love it. It's on BBC iPlayer, Killing Eve, go and watch it if you have not watched it. If you're into, it's not action, it's not romance, bit of romance in there, but it's just good. Just go and watch it. E, um, Villanelle is like a psycho. Um, the next thing I've been watching at the minute is Orphan Black. Now, I know Orphan Black has been out since, I think, 2017. I think the same for Killing Eve, actually. But, yeah, Orphan Black has been out since 2017, and it has got five seasons. So, after Killing Eve, I, was, I loved it. So, I wanted something just as good to keep me occupied whilst we're in this lockdown. Um, and my friend suggested Orphan Black. Again, I yes, I would absolutely recommend it to everyone. The only thing is, is if you've not already watched some of the seasons, it can start to drag just because there's so many episodes in each season. I found myself not really paying attention near the end when it got to sort of season four, not really paying attention, but I do still love it um, and I would recommend you watch it. Um, another good one is Too Hot to Handle, that's on Netflix, um, it's kind of like a Love Island type of programme but it's where these single people go into this like villa and you're basically get to know them but you're not allowed to touch. If you touch them in any way you lose a certain amount of money from the budget from the start so it's about temptation. Juicy. Um, and another one is Happy Valley. Happy Valley, I think that was on, I think it is actually on Netflix now, but I think it was on BBC iPlayer as well, or ITV, I can't remember, but it is on Netflix. Um, again, just a, lo a love, it's not a love, it's just amazing. Um, it's like about coppers and stuff like that, so that's another one I would suggest you go and watch it. Go, go in the water. 
Um, now, there is another one, but for the life of me, I cannot seem to remember what it was. I have looked through my TV things and I just can't remember what it was called. But what I will do, if I do remember it or when I'm editing, I will put what it is here or here or here or here, somewhere. So, next is top five cleaning products or cleaning things that I have been loving through this lockdown. One of them is the Unstoppables Air Freshener. This one is in the scent Sweet Dreams and this just smells incredible. Have a smell. This one is, now I'm not really using this one just because I've still got my pink one, um, but I have given it a quick go, you know, when you just can't resist. Um, and this one smells incredible. It's Pomegranate Paradise, and I would definitely recommend you guys getting this. I use this on my bins, on any sort of metal, aluminium, my fridge, anything, just to give it a spoof. You can always also do it on that year sofa, anything just to freshen it up, um, and it's really nice. The next one I have been loving is the carpet foams. Um, they do these in the 101 range and also the Fabulosa have brought some out. And this scent is in Wild Rhubarb. This is incredible. The only thing I would say about this is my nozzle has gone a bit funny. So it's like not spraying it. Like it sprays for a bit and then it like starts swimming up like a worm. Bowl of a good Sephora. Um, but this one is in the scent Tropical Twist. Now, with the sun being out, I just feel like this is such a fresh spring summer smell. And another thing I have been loving is this. So, it's to wash your pots or to wash your washing machine or whatever. And I just love it. Shops that I have been loving at the minute is one B&M. B and M, it's been an absolute babe right now. Um, the next shop is the range. Now, I have I, I love the range. I haven't been going as much just because of this isolation, and it is a little bit further out for me to drive. But I have been once whilst we've been in this, and I just love it. Like I got these coasters from the range. Um, they just do really nice things. Like especially because I've just uh, moved into my house when I need like certain bits, and. The quality of the things are really good from the range. Is Matalan. So when I was buying my house, um, like when I first purchased it, a lot of um, decor bits you can get from Matalan. I didn't realise how nice things were. Like I got my bin in the toilet from Matalan, the brush to go with it, some, a bath mat. I just think Matalan is doing really good at the minute on the homeware, uh, homeware section. Um, another shop I have been loving is Dunelm. The shops that I'm more focusing on are housey type of shops. I haven't been buying clothes, which I'm so proud of. But yeah, housey shops are what I'm warming to at the minute, just because I've had to ha get so many things from my house and so housey shops is where I've been looking. Dunelm, I got my kettle toaster and I've got a mercury on the way to me as well. So I would give a shout out to Donna. And another shop is Wayfair. Wayfair is, I love it. I got my pillows from Ray, uh, Ray, Rayfair, Rayfair, Wayfair. My top five things to bake at the minute. So I have been loving baking. I, just, I think everyone's probably gone through the same on the rainy days. Why don't we go outside, uh, go outside and bake? Go in your kitchen and bake. So, I have been baking brownies, flapjacks, um, Millie and I shortbread, uh, banana bread as well. Banana bread, I have actually not long cooked one, I'm going to go show you. So, it has had half taken out of it because I have got some away as well. But this is the banana bread. Now, these look manky at the top, but I've actually put them in the oven um, and baked them, which helps the flavour come out of the bananas as well. So, yeah. Guys, I'm back and thank you everyone for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed.